In this video, let's take a look at adding Simcoe as our default editor and also looking at using an outside version of the Simcoe editor. For example, the latest release would be 7.1, where Mastercam 8, shown here on our screen, actually ships with 7.0, but there's, of course, limitations being the light version, still a nice version, but it doesn't have all the tools that we might want to use. So let's take a look at posting some code real quick and looking at the default configuration. So in this case, I'm just going to take a couple of tool paths off this particular part we have here, and I'm going to go ahead and post those out and look at our default editor. In that case, so I'm going to say no. Go ahead and set up for test. And we'll see that Code Expert comes up as our default editor. So it's nice. We can see our code, things like that. Uh, but I'd still like to see the Simcoe editor. A little color control, a little bit different other things that it can do. Um, smooth interface. So let's go ahead and see what we can do about setting that up. So I'm going to go into the settings and configuration. On our start and exit down here, as you see highlighted, in this area here, we have the master cam as shown as the editor. So I'm going to go ahead and drop down and go to Simcoe and go ahead and apply that, yes, and say OK. As we'll go ahead and post again some more code. We'll say no to all the other operations. We'll say test again and say yes. Okay, so we have our default Simcoe editor comes up, but in this case, if you might not notice here, let me go ahead and bring this down a little bit more, is it, it actually defaulted to Simcoe Edit V5. So we're gonna take with this video and go a little bit more by that, not just setting up your Simcoe extra added on after OEM upgrade of our 7.1 Simcoe but what happens when you try to set that up and it defaults to an older editor so for example in this case I have multiple versions of Mastercam running on this computer so what it's defaulting to is actually our old version from version 6 the version 6 ed default editor for Simcoe is Edit V5. So I'm going to need to look at how am I going to actually get that to stop. So well, let's go ahead and do this. I know that if I turn around and I go into the configuration, let's go into our C drive. I'm going to go into Program Files. I'm going to look for my Mastercam X6. And I'm going to go to Common and I'm going to go to editors. I've got the Simcoe edit 5. So what's happening is it's pushing itself back and not finding the correct path. So I can actually set this up so it won't even see this one. So I'm just going to do a simple thing because there's ways to do things in the registry but you know registry can be a scary place. So let's just do a simpler thought. So I'm going to go ahead and select that and I'm going to hit F2 on my keyboard I'm going to add temp and the slash and say continue. So now I'm going to close that. Now I'm going to edit, try posting again. Still set up for our Simcoe. Let's go ahead and take a look. Say no. In this case, test again. Okay, so now what that did bring us to is it did actually overwrite that one. So now it automatically is defaulting back to Mastercam's version here of the Simcoe Edit set version 7.0. But in this case, once again, this is the lighter version on that. There is the OEM upgrade that gives you even more control and more tools. So I'd like to have that one. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. I'm going to go back into settings. I'm going to go to configuration again. 
looking for our start and exit. We have our editor to Simcoe. I'm going to go other. So what I'm going to go look for is the executable for the standalone version. So in this case, it should be on our first here, sorry. OAS disk C, Simcoe, Simcoe Edit 7, and I'm going to select Simcoe Edit Executive. Say open. I'm going to apply that. I'm going to green check. And let's see what happens now. So we'll go ahead and say G1. Say OK. No. Same file again. So now what I can see is I'm now running version 7.1 that, for example, I'll have the options to go back to backplot and be able to see that path motion of actual G-code. We have a lot more other modules that we can offer with our other for the OM. So we were able to set up Simcoe, the OEM upgrade, outside as our default editor, or setting up the one that came with Mastercam X8, being the 7.0 light version. And we've also looked at what happens, for example, is if you've got multiple versions of Mastercam, and for some reason it's defaulting to one of the older versions, in this case, by going and say, for example, a simple thought would be going into the common directory for the editors and setting those earlier versions of the editor inside the default system of each Mastercam version that you have until it actually defaults to where you want it to. In this case, for me, it would be the outside OEM. So I hope you find that this is helpful and this is how we can actually make a Simcoe Edit 7.1 release uh, be our default in Mastercam X8 or earlier versions. Thank you.